One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. week with the classic song Red River Valley in the key of G. I've got three breaks worked up for this song starting with a very very simple version. We're gonna work on playing the, the absolute basic melody with a simple forward roll alternating thumb roll and pinches. So we're gonna start this melody with the absolute basics which I think is really important. And then for the next two solos we're gonna look at okay now that we've got the basic version down how do we spice it up using some basic bluegrass ornaments. So we're gonna add some slides we're gonna change the right hand a little bit, modify the rolls. We're gonna mess with the timing a little bit. So we're gonna do some simple things to take that basic melody and spice it up a little bit. I'm gonna break down all three solos note for note and then show you a bunch of backup stuff I would do for this song. So how to do down the neck rolling backup and stay away from the melody, how to do vamping, basic vamping backup that I would do on this song. So there's a whole bunch of stuff in this lesson that we're gonna break down and talk about. And if you're watching the preview of this lesson, you can head over to my website, mikeheadingmusic.com and grab the full length lesson. It'll come with all the videos, all the tabs, and all the practice tracks. All right. Right, here's Red River Valley in the key of G. All right, let's start breaking down the basic version to Red River Valley. So we're basically going to be playing the most basic version of the melody, and we're going to be adding some very basic rolls and pinches. So we're going to keep it pretty simple for this basic version. Let me play the first five measures, then we'll start breaking it down. Here we go. Let's do that a few times. time real slow. So we're going to start with our pickup on the beat three and beat four. We're going to hit the open fourth string and then the open third string. And with this basic version, we're going to use our thumb a lot. So I, I kind of intentionally overuse the thumb of my right hand to basically give you practice moving your thumb around. In, in Scruggs style banjo, your thumb of your right hand is gonna be the most active. It's gonna move around the strings the most. It's also the most dominant of the fingers. A lot of times people say, if you can use your, your thumb, you should. It's gonna help bring out the melody a little bit more. It's just more powerful. It's, it's usually more, people are more confident usually with their thumb. One reason is you're picking down versus playing up. But for this lesson, we're gonna kind of overuse our thumb to just really give our thumbs a practice here, okay? So you can count beats one and two if you want. One, two, and then we're gonna go three, four, and then we're gonna move our thumb up to the second string to start measure two. So we basically hit the fourth string, hit the third string, and then hit the second string, all with our thumb, okay? So remember, I recommend counting beats one and two. One, two, three, four, and then we're gonna play beat one, then we're gonna go up and do two forward rolls, thumb, index, middle with my right hand, strings five, two, one. So we're gonna do that twice. So we have. Notice how I'm using my thumb twice in a row at, at the beginning of measure two. That's actually gonna help me play that first quarter note. So we have one, two, and three, and four, and. So I'm actually using my thumb twice in a row there to help slow me down and make sure I give that quarter note a full value. One. many times as you need to. Let's put one and two together. Here we go. One, two. So the melody there is the long open second string. And what we're doing there is filling it up with a roll. You can also kind of accent your index finger if you want after you start doing that roll. 
one more time here's one and two one two now measure three our thumb's going to come down again to the second string quarter note and then we're going to go up and do thumb middle fifth string first string two and that's eighth notes then we're going to put our second finger of our left hand on the second fret of the third string play that note with our thumb of our right hand and then open second string again so again, our thumb's really moving around, getting a lot of practice there. Here, let's do measure three on its own. So we have one, two, and three, four. If you can count it, you can play it. So count along with me. One, two, and three, four. Let's do two and three together. And the melody there again is... Walking from the second string, then we hit the second string again, then our melody goes down to the second fret of the third string, and then open second string. Let's do that a few more times. Measure four, keep your second finger down back to that second fret on the third string. Open third string. And then a thumb index thumb middle roll, three, two, five, one. So we have two quarter notes at the beginning of measure four. One, two. Again, the melody there is goes down to the third string. So now we're just filling that up with a roll. And into measure five, we're gonna hit the third string again, then pinch the outside strings, then hit the fourth string, and then the third string again. That's basically our pickup back into the, the melody. So we got, let's do four and five together. Don't rush measure five, so one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four. Let's do Let's do one through five. Here we go. One, two. Again, the melody's all in, pretty much all in your thumb there. Let's do it a little faster. One, two. times I'll do it without talking once. One more time, a little faster. Measure six back up to the open second string, and then thumb middle outside strings five and one, and then third string open, second string open. So we have one, two, and three, four. Same timing we did in measure three. Again, really good thumb practice moving around there. Let's do measure six. Remember, we're using our thumb there to help us not rush those quarter notes. Measure seven, open first string. I'm gonna use my middle finger. Outside strings again, five and one with eighth notes. Then I'm gonna put my first finger on the first fret of the second string. Thumb's gonna come down, and then open second string. So we have. Let's do six and seven together. A couple more times. Let's do five through seven. What's the melody there we have? So basically everything's melody except for those little bounces we did off the fifth string, first string. So, so we have melody in five, melody, melody, melody in six, quick little roll, melody, 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 quick little roll, melody, melody. So a lot of melody in this version. Let's do five through seven one more time. So don't rush those quarter notes, really important. 
Now we're gonna take our second finger and put it on the second fret of the third string, play that note with our thumb, this is measure eight. And then we're gonna go up and do two forward rolls, five, three, one, five, three, one. So thumb, index, middle with my right hand, T-I-M. So we do that twice, one, two, and three, and four. I'm just looping measure eight, that's a good one to practice. So make sure you're not bending that string up a little bit. It's easy to push that second fret a little bit out of tune if you're bending that note just slightly here on that. Kind of makes it sour, so be careful you're not pushing that note up. Let's do seven and eights. We have... You can't loop it because it starts and ends with your middle finger, but let's try it a few more times. Melody walks down. So we have. The other thing I want you to practice there is your initial melody notes with your thumb. And then we're going up and doing a forward roll thumb index middle. So our melody then switches to the index finger. You hear that? You don't want to hit your thumb really hard on that measure eight, except for the very first note. If you accent this fifth string, sound quite right. So you want seven and eight. One more time. Here we go. Then your thumb is going to come back down of your right hand, second fret, third string. Keep your left hand down. That's into measure nine. So we have one, two, and three, and four, and one. Pinch the outside strings. Open first string. And then First fret, second string. I'm gonna let my thumb of my right hand come down. You can also do that with your index finger. So you'd have. That's how I'm doing it. Thumb, pinch, middle, thumb. But you can also do it. Thumb, pinch, middle, index. Whatever feels more comfortable there. For this lesson, I, I kind of overuse my thumb. You know, I'd probably, to be honest, switch those, interchange those, basically. I'd probably do it both ways in kind of real life situations. But for this lesson, let's, let's do it with our thumb and it'll just give you some practice. Let's do eight and nine together. Net measure 10, open first string. Forward roll, T-I-M, th five, two, one, thumb index middle. And then put your second finger down on the second fret of the third string and do thumb index middle, five, three, one. So we have. And then we're gonna hit the open third string for measure 11. So we wanna hear three blind mice is what we wanna hear, or hot cross buns, right? So we wanna hear that with the roll. Again, we're starting the accent with our thumb and then switching to our index finger. You hear how that note is embedded in the roll and walks down? So you want again, you want to hear. So not too hard, it's good accenting practice though. Thumb comes down for measure 11, pinch the outside strings. Then your thumb up to the second string. Pinch the outside strings again. So we have one, two, three, four. Let's do 10 and 11. One more time. 12, we're gonna go into a C chord. We're gonna hit the open first string to start it though. And then our thumb's gonna come down, hit the first fret of the second string. So we have one, two, then put your C down. I'm just going to use a two finger C. And we're going to do five, two, one, five, T I M T. We need four notes to complete the measure. So we have. We're using our thumb twice in a row there to help us play that timing. Remember, one, two, three, and four, and. Then keep rolling forward into measure 13, index middle. And then your thumb's going to come down, hit the third string. And then you're basically gonna quick slide up from this position up to the fourth fret on the fourth string, and then down to the second fret. So you can kind of have your second finger hovering over that second fret for your full C. So we have. And that's gonna get into measure.
measure 14. I, and I did three quarter notes in measure 13. So you have plenty of time to get down there. Let's do 12, 13 into the beginning of 14. Here we go. Make sure you keep rolling into measure 13, that's tricky. If you're having trouble, just try the right hand on its own, pretend they're all zeros. Now add the, the right hand, or left hand back, excuse me, left hand back. Measure 14, open third string. We're gonna go into a two finger D chord. So third finger on the fourth fret of the fourth string, second, first finger, excuse me, first finger on the second fret of the third string. So you hit the open, open fourth string to start measure 14, which gives you time to get into that position. Then you're gonna do your first finger, third string, first string, thumb middle, and then thumb middle, fourth string, first string, and then open third string. That's tricky, let's do that a few times. So it's one, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. That's good, left hand, right hand practice. Let's do just the right hand once. Add the left hand back. You also have to get the right angle. You can't be bent back too much like this. Otherwise, you're not gonna be able to get that first string to ring out. And then 15, put your first finger back down on the second fret of the third string, hit that note. Pinch the outside strings. Second, open second string with your thumb. And then second fret third string with your thumb as well of your right hand. And then open third string. So it's a little walk down. And then we're gonna do two four rolls to end at five, three, one, five, three, one. So 16 is. a great backup lick, but let's do 14 through the end. That's into the measure 17, which will pick up the second solo. One more time. Okay, that's the whole basic melody with roll. Let's play the whole thing. Here we go. One, two. into the first bluegrass style solo, which I'll break down right now. All right, let's take it from measure 17. This is gonna start the first bluegrass style solo. So it's gonna be similar to the basic version. We're just gonna make it a little bit more advanced. And we're gonna start with your open third string and then pinch the outside strings. So beats one and two, one, two. And then we're gonna do our same pickup open four string, open third string. So that's pretty similar to the basic version. We just added some pinches at the beginning. Now for measure 18, we're gonna pinch strings two and one with our index and middle finger. That's just a very easy way to fill it up. So instead of just hitting the open second string like we did in the basic version, now we're gonna pinch index and middle. That's gonna fill it up. And then right here, we're gonna do a two four slide on the, the third string with a four roll. So T-I-M. And right as we're getting up to that fourth fret, we're playing our index finger on the second string. Should be the same note if your banjo's in tune. And then we're gonna go up and do five, two, one, T-I-M again. So basically what we did there is we just added a slide. So we took the, our melody note, the second string. That's our note we want. We went to a lower string and found that same note and then slid into it. So let's do 18 on its own. We have one, two, and three, and four, and. Compare that to measure two. It's similar. Just a little more bluegrassy because we added that slide. Same 
same thing with measure 19. We're going to take that open second string we did in the basic version and add a, an alternating thumb roll slide. So T I T M, two fourth slide on the third string. And then back to that second fret on the third string. And then pinch strings two and one, index and middle. So we have. Let's do that a few times. What I'd really also recommend for you is compare this with the basic version. So you could even lay the two solos on top of each other and see wh what I substituted. So instead of. Now we have. Slides makes it more complicated. Measure 20.